Hello friends, I Priyanka Khan, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of Colleges, welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver the lecture on Parapodia. This topic is useful for BSc students. Parapodia is the locomotory organelle of Neris that belongs to class Polychaeta of phylum Annelida. Parapodia is the characteristic feature of polyketons. Today we will discuss about the parapodia of Neris. Neris is a segmented animal which have 80 to 120 segments in its body and parapodia is present in each segment of the trunk portion. It is lacking in the head segment and in the last segment which is known as pygidium. There are one pair parapodia present in each segment in the trunk portion and each parapodia is a fleshy anteroventrally flattened outgrowth of body wall and inside it this is a hollow structure which is filled with coelom and it is connected internally with the trunk coelom. This structure of parapodia is based on a biremus plan. According to this plan, it has a proximal base and the distal part is divided into two lobes. The dorsal lobe is known as notopodium and this extends from here to here between upper side to mid portion and the ventral portion is known as the neuropodium. Again, the notopodium is divided into two leaf live lobes and neuropodium is also divided into two leaf live lobes. The upper lobes are known as superior ligula and the inferior lobes are known as inferior ligula. These are internally supported by a chitinous rod which looks like a black thread, thick black thread and it it is in, in, embedded into the body wall and this structure is called essiculum. This serves as the endoskeleton as it serves for the cetal muscles also. From the essiculum at the tip there are a long threads like a structure, chitinous fine long thread structure. These are known as ceta and ceta are lodged into cetal sacs. Be depending on function, these setae can be of different types and generally there are two types of setae are present in parapodia and these are known as typical seta and long blade seta. But in heteroneris which is a, a mature sexual stage that in that uh, the seta are modified into pore shaped. In brief, the seta structure has two parts, one is called base and another is called shaft. In typical seta, base is long and shaft is short with one curved notch. While in long blade seta, as the name suggests, the shaft base is short and there is a long curved structure in the shaft which is one edge serrated. There its one end is serrated. In oar shaped, again the name suggests its uh, shaft is oar like which helps in swimming during the uh, breeding period to the heteroneris. It helps in vigorous swimming to the heteroneris. Now what is the function, how, it, how does it work in locomotion? Then uh, parapodia is a mainly it is a locomotory organelle which helps in crawling and swimming in both. And the CT are, these CT are for the purpose of for the protection and for holding uh, the inner wall of the burrow in which Neris live. Besides this, oar shaped uh, CT help in uh, swimming. Besides this, this whole structure is highly vascular structure. Therefore, it helps in gases exchange and also it helps in um, respiration. Again, another third type of function is it also supports the it also supports the site for the excretory pore, which is known as nephridiopore. And nephridiopore is present 
at the base of near the ventral sinus where from where the excretory waste discharged outside the body thank you thank you and thank you for further details please log on to www.gurukpo.com